Hey faves, it's me again. Today we're going to work on a few glitter rolling trays. So I'm going to show you how to do it from start to finish. Believe it or not, last week I was doing a video on this set. I think it was last week or the week before. And I deleted the whole entire video while I was editing. So that's why it has taken me so long to post a new video. But this was the one I was doing a video on. But today we'll just do different glitter trays. So of course starting off, we are using our serving trays from Dollar Tree. They look just like this, they're oval. The back is like this and it will stay this way. I will not design the back. I know a lot of y'all always ask me about how does the back look when you finish. The back will be just like this. So first, you grab your Mod Podge. This is a gloss, but I believe you can use any kind. I, I pick up any kind of Mod Podge. I use every one of them. So I'm using Mod Podge, glitter. I am using different colors of glitter. These are from Hobby Lobby. Those, and I'll be doing one with this from Michaels. I think I showed this in a previous video and I used all of it. This is from Hobby Lobby, and I'll be doing one with these different colors. So let's get started. You're going to get a brush, apply your Mod Podge like we did in previous videos. You know, I just pour my Mod Podge on and spread it instead of having to constantly dip into the cup. Whatever I don't use, you know, I will dump it back in the cup to save for the next one. So you just spread your Mod Podge on the entire tray, just like I'm doing the edges. You know, I don't do the edge where I'm holding my finger. I do that last. And I'm trying to make it as even as possible so we can dry evenly and it won't have wet spots. So I'm just taking this around the edge and I'm doing multiple trays because I will be in a pop-up shop at the end of this month. So if you're in Memphis, stop by Bright Beauty Bar on Riverdale Road from 2 to 6 p.m. My trays are normally $40 for the whole set. But I'm trying to determine if I'll be selling them for $20 or $25 the entire set. So make sure y'all stop by at the end of the month. If you're in Memphis, I will be selling these for half price, if not just a little more. Okay, so once that is spread evenly, like that, I'm going to... I'm going to put something under it. That way I can catch the glitter that falls over to the side and I can put it back into the jar. So this is how it looks once I put my Mod Podge. Then I'm going to take my glitter like so. And I am using a USPS envelope because that was the only thing that was near me and I had it forever. So I'm going to use it how I want to use it. You can use a sheet of paper or whatever. So dump your glitter back into the container. It is so pretty. And I will put the link below for all of the materials that I'm using. I may leave some of these blank because I know some people just, sometimes people don't want their rolling trays to have any customization. They just love the glitter. So this is how it looks once I apply my glitter. And I'm just taking my tray and applying it to applying the glitter to some of the edges that didn't get glitterified. And this is the finished look once applying the glitter. That is so pretty. And this is glitter once again. It's in the it's fine glitter in the color royal blue holographic at Hobby Lobby and that's the price $3.49 and I will do this with the jar ashtray and lighter but I'll be doing the jars last because I don't have any right now 
So what I'm going to do is did this in front of a fan. I use a regular floor uh, fan and I just kind of cop it to the side so it can dry just a little faster. So once we do that, I'll come back and apply the epoxy. As of right now, I'm going to go ahead and put this glitter back into the little container. Uh-oh. I'm making a mess. I'm putting that glitter back into the container to use again. Uh, I'll go ahead and do this is what I'm using for the ashtray this was a set of I believe four or five candle holders that I got from Dollar Tree of course for one dollar so I use candle holders as the ashtray because it's more convenient and easy to use so I'm just putting my podge in the bottom of it some of it got on the side, but I can just wipe it with a towel, paper towel or something. So, I put my pod in the bottom, put my glitter in it, shake it around, and put it back into the jar. My countertop is covered in parchment pa butcher paper, so don't worry. I know y'all get all itchy when I get glitter everywhere, but you're going to be alright. Okay, so that was my ashtray. Here's the lighter I'm going to use. I think it came in a pack of four or five from Dollar Tree. And some people don't like the cheap lighter, so you can go to the corner store or a gas station, Walgreens, wherever, and get a Bic lighter, which is a better brand, better quality than these little cheap, little flickery lighters. So I'm just... This is how I'm doing my lighter, you guys. Same way I do everything else. My project, like so. I kind of have a steady hand most of the time, so I don't use tape on everything. So I just wiped that my project I got on the black part. That. And if. I forgot what I was about to say. What was I about to say, y'all? Uh, anyway. So, yeah. Well, that's what I was about to say. If the layer of glitter is too thin where I still see the lighter through it, I'm going to apply another layer once this is dry. So, this is so easy, you guys. The tray was a dollar. Lighters come in a pack for a dollar. Candle holders slash ashtrays come in a pack four dollar my podge was like six dollars get you a little paintbrush get you a box of epoxy or resin i think it was i'm about to show you what i use for the resin if you haven't seen my previous videos so that's my lighter and i don't see the lighter through i see a little paper in the back but i don't see the lighter through so i'm just gonna do one layer when this is dry, you know, I seal it with this little seal, and I'll show you in a minute. So, yeah, that's how the lighter looks. Okay, you guys. So, we are on to the next glitter tray. I think I'm going to do it in purple. I know a lot of girls love purple. I may leave that one blank as well. Like I said, some people, they just like a cute little rolling tray don't care for the words on it or anything like that so we're on to the next this is kind of dirty i need to wipe that one out so here's my next tray i'm going to do it same steps come a little mod podge like so a little mod podge on there y'all just like this and it's so quick i wonder how many i can make in 10 minutes or less so now with this one i'm just going to do the tray for now and do the ashtray everything else i'll do towards the end of the video then i'm going to move i'm going to move on to the next tray so this is how it looks i'm about to dump this my podge back into the container because i can use it i'm good with the saving saving stuff 
cook too much it takes even longer to dry it's gonna dry unevenly so this is how I do it you guys everybody has their own techniques some people say hey can you just use glitter spray paint I'm obsessed with glitter I do not like I tried one with the glitter spray paint and y'all I never uploaded that video didn't even try to edit it because really I just didn't care for it. It just wasn't glittery enough to me. I like to have a look using my podge and pour it on my own glitter. So again, I'm going to use purple glitter for this one. Like so. Once I'm done applying it, here's my glitter that I'm using. There's the color name here. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Y'all can do this y'all see us. Okay. Same way I did the blue. Just like this. Then I just tap it. Get it to move around a little. Tap, 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 tap. So cute. I love the purple. Purple is not my color though. I love blue. But this purple is cute. Lady UD. All right, so I'm just putting my podge on this edge I was holding with my finger. Put more glitter. Glitter, 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 glitter. And dump it. And that's how that looks. I don't even have to go over that twice. Sometimes a silver will show through it. But, oh, let me get that little edge. There we go. So that's how that looks so cute. Now we're moving on to the next color. I will go ahead and sit this under my fan so we can go ahead and dry a little quicker. Alrighty. So next, my next color will be, I think I'll be using gold or champagne. I'm just dumping this purple back into the container. Oh, wait, let me do the ashtray real quick. So, same way we did the blue. You can use a smaller paintbrush. I don't think I have one clean right now. Nope, I'm going to try to clean it. Give me just a few little seconds. Okay. So, I'm taking that Mod Podge, putting it inside of my little candle holder slash ashtray then I just twist my brush around to keep it from getting on the sides can you see that okay okay you can see that so this is how I do my glitter trays and everything you guys like I said everybody has their own techniques do as you please if you don't like the glitter mess then you can use the glitter spray paint or just regular spray paint have it however you want it but this is how I do it all right and I do get paper on my camera top so don't worry about the glitter okay so next tray here it is and let me see if I got enough gold yep I'm gonna do it in gold this is called 24 karat and like I said I think I got it from Hobby Lobby if it wasn't Hobby Lobby it was Walmart or uh, Michaels probably Walmart if it wasn't Happy Lobby because Michael's is high and y'all know that so same thing you want to cover your tray my podge take around the edges and be sure to comment below if you have any questions any suggestions or anything like that just comment below I know I've been haven't been doing good answering questions, but y'all, I promise I'm gonna get better. I know I say that all the time. I need to make the videos more, but my life, I would say it's crazy, but it's really not. I just don't know how to organize correctly. Some of y'all can feel me on that. Same thing, and I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do one more tray after this with glitter then I do a separate video doing more with uh, spray paint I don't want to make all of them girly because some of the girls 
they may want to buy some for the guys or guy friends or go ahead and get Father's Day gifts out the way so like I said I'm doing this in gold oh I think I'll do one more after this yeah I'll do one more after this in uh, pink for my pink colors okay so I'm using gold in the color 24 karat oh it's so pretty I love it so much So once these dry, you guys, we're going to apply the epoxy, the resin. That way tomorrow when I come in, I can add designs to whichever ones I want to put designs on. And it's going to be so cute. I just don't want to wait till the last minute to get ready for this pop-up shop because I'm good at being last minute. I'm going to have nothing but three things to sell. Okay. I'm just applying this glitter to the edge that I was holding. Zump it. A uh, little tap like that. Get the little edge that I was holding. And voila! That is so cute! I love the gold too, y'all. Okay, so after this, we're going to do one more. It's going to be pink. So I currently have three of them. <clears throat> sitting under the fan and like I said it's just a regular floor fan y'all and can you believe I got it brand new from the Goodwill back in 2016 and it was only five dollars the brand new in the box so if y'all need like some craft stuff or home stuff and you know I don't, I don't even think I was on a budget at the time I just went in there to see you know what the hype was about because people that craft they always find good stuff in the goodwill from little cutting machines and sewing machines all type of stuff so i went in there and found a few things that i could use and just hit the jackpot with a few other items some stuff just you know some stuff no good okay so my next tray i'm doing pink and I'm doing pink because I want to match this little uh, wine glass that I made. And in a separate video, I'll show y'all how to do the glitter coasters using coasters from Dollar Tree. Like, oh my God, it's going to be so cute. And while you're watching the video, go ahead and thumbs up. I promise, promise this time, I'm going to keep the videos rolling because... I need my subscribers to stay updated with the ladies and stay on your feet with the craft stuff. I like helping people. As you can see, teaching y'all how to make some money. And believe it or not, I think it was not this past Christmas, the Christmas before last, I sold so many rolling trays. It paid all of my bills for that entire month and the following month. So this is, you know, something. It's not just a hobby. Like, this can really help you with things like that. Even if you don't need help with bills, it's just extra play money. Because they're a good gifts. Father's Day, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Christmas. Like, even just because. Birthdays. People are always buying rolling trays. So that's that. And I'm using this pink that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's called Petal Pink. So cute. So I'm, I'm applying that now. It looks kind of like a, almost like a blush color. It's real pretty. So I tap, 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 tap. tap. It really doesn't take much, but it's thick and a little edge. Okay, and where my finger was, it's applied there. The glitter, and boom. That is so pretty. So if you're a pink type of girl, this is the tray for you. So cute. And I'll go ahead and do the little ash tray. And once these are dry, I'll come back and apply the epoxy. Real 
quick. With my patch. Alright, and if you got the hang of it, just skip along to the end of the video so you can see how I finish this off. Because some of y'all, y'all probably get it on the first tray that I did. I'm just wiping out this little Mod Podge I got over here. Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't take much. All right, got that done. And we'll be right back. All right, so this is the next step. This is what I'm using to fill in my glitter. The amazing clear cast as usual with the part A and part B resin. So first I'm taking out part B, putting it in my cup and I'm sealing about four or five trays. So I'm going to put a good amount in here to use there and i'm going to do the same thing with part a putting it in a separate cup and the lines on the cup are helping me measure correctly so here's my part a and the part a is more thicker than the part b so that's why i'll take the part b and add it to part a that way it'll come out more quickly Okay, that looks about even. I'll put just a tad bit more in part A if needed. Okay. All right. And I believe some people do use a scale to be sure, but I just eyeball it. That looks about even to me. So I'm gonna take my part B and add it to part A. You can do either one, but because the part A is thick, I'd rather pour the, the thinner part into the thick one. So I'm gonna let that drain for a second. Then I come back and mix. I'm gonna take one of these little sticks to mix it together. I think these are like little, little skewers that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I just take the stick. Usually I just let the cup sit for a moment. But I'm kind of in a rush now. I'm just taking it and getting that little bit out. And everyone has their own technique. Some people use measuring cups. But because I'm... I did a lot of trays and things. I'm just gonna use these bigger cups so I can go ahead and mix. Okay, I think I got most of it out. It looks like I did. So I'm just gonna stir. You can stir slowly. The more slowly you stir, the less bubbles you'll have, but those bubbles will go away. And I also use a heat gun if there are still bubbles on my trays once I apply the resin. So I'm just stirring to mix together. And you can see both parts are starting to mix. Like so. And this does take about 72 hours to set. So I wouldn't suggest applying your resin and selling your items the very next day because it's not all dry or hardened. So I'm just mixing together. Once it mixed, I'll go ahead and apply it. And you want to make sure you mix it all the way and make sure your, your resin is even because if it's not, you'll come in and your product will still be sticky or wet. And we don't want that to happen. That'll be a waste of product. Okay, so I'll just keep on stirring. Once this is stirred, then I'll be ready to apply it. All right, so we're all mixed together now. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying it. I'm doing two trays at a time. So I'm going to do this blue and purple one. And then I'll go do the pink and gold. So I'm applying my epoxy like so. I don't use as much. I don't use a whole lot. 
So I just put just what's needed, let it roll around, just roll around to the sides, and I use my glove to rub the edges of it. I even roll this around. I put a little more. I tried to put enough in the cup to do four trays. And again, this is my method. If you're not comfortable using the glove to roll around your epoxy, then you can use a brush that you will throw away later or even a silicone brush. Someone suggested that, said that they sell the silicone brushes at um, Dollar Tree, but this is just what I use. So, just like that. Easy, quick, simple, and you can wear a mask, even though you may not smell it. They say this could be harmful in the long run. Just getting the edges, as you can see, rubbing my finger along, trying not to put too much so it won't drip too much over the sides. So I'm putting enough so that when it dries, the surface will be smooth. Some people say, oh, you're going to have glitter in your product. If you are if you steal it correctly, the way that I'm doing, then you would not have glitter in your product. So you would not have to worry about that. You want to make sure the room or wherever you, wherever you have the tray sitting at that is kind of warm, not too cold. If it's cold in the room, then it'll have a hard time trying to cure so that's how that one looks once I applied the epoxy. And I do the same thing with this purple. And I do the same thing with the lid of the jars and the ashtrays. Like so. So I did get on my hand, but I'm about to wash it. I only had one glove left, y'all. Dang. That's it. I only had one left. So, like I said, I may do a design on just a couple of them and leave the rest of them blank. Because they don't always have to have a design on them. Same thing. Alright, you guys. I'm going to do... After this, I'm about to do the um, the ashtrays, and I'm gonna do the other two trays off camera because I don't want to make this video longer than what it already is. But this can be a rolling make a rolling tray with me video. Y'all could have just grabbed all your supplies, pause the video, go get what you need, and come back, and we can do this at the same time. That's what I do sometimes, y'all. Watching YouTube. I was like, hold on, let me go get what I need. We can do this together. And I pause the video if I need to catch up. Something like that. Okay, so there's that one. And with the ashtrays, that's all you do. Pour just a little in the bottom. It's going to spread regardless. Tiny bit. And... Was it the last one? Oh, we forgot the blue one. And the blue. And that excess glitter that you see on the sides, tomorrow I'm going to, when these are cured just a little, I'm going to just wipe the insides, the sides or brush them. So that glitter can go nobody's business. So I just spread these like that. Same thing I do with the jars, you guys. Just like that. And don't forget to like this video and thumbs up. I'm going to do those other two off camera. And we'll be on to designing tomorrow. So I'm back with the finished product. After I added the epoxy, it will have a smooth surface like so. If not, that is okay because we are going to apply another layer once we add our design. So I'm just going to do one um tray on camera because this video is already too long so i'm just going to do the um blue one so this is how they look once the epoxy has the epoxy has hardened okay 
and here is my ashtray that already has the epoxy in it this is the lighter and with the lighter we just put the sealant on it i do not use epoxy for that and um the jar so i actually already did the lid to the blue jar but i'm going to show you how i do that just in case you missed it on my previous videos i want to do this one in a different color for another tray since i already did the blue off camera so i just take my epoxy i mean my not my epoxy sorry my mod podge and spread it on the lid of the jar and i take my brush around like so to get the sides and i do use a thin layer it does not require much um i'm gonna do this one in pink so the same way i do all the other items it's easy peasy you guys and like i said i will be in the pop-up shop now this weekend and believe it or not it actually took me two weeks to do this video y'all i be procrastinating so hard so this is how it looks and i'm going to sit it in front of the fan you know i use the the box fan sit in front of the fan for it to dry so y'all this is how i do the lid to my jar and i seal it once it's dry with the um i think it's called dura clear um sealant Okay, so I decided which design I wanted to put on my tray. So this is the one that I'll be putting on the blue, living my high life. I got this vinyl from US Cutter. I will put the link below. And it was cut out on my Silhouette Cameo 4. And you can view my videos and see me unbox it. You can see how the machine looks and how it operates, cutting out the material. Um, what I'm using is transfer paper called transfer right from US cutter as well I do not know where my squeegee is y'all so I'm gonna use my little sign to smooth this onto the surface hopefully it acts right okay uh oh I got a bubble okay so I'm just smoothing my design onto the surface and if I were to put the vinyl directly on the glitter instead of using epoxy first, it will not stick. So that's why you have to harden the surface before you apply the vinyl, especially when using glitter. Okay, so I'm just pulling that up like so. Going to do the same thing with my highlight. I have to go find my squeegee. We are back in action. Yes. Because that was the struggle. Okay, so I'm adding my high life to the tray as well. And smooth it on. Now, that's much better. Barely any bubbles. Okay, so that's how that looks, you guys. Looks so good. I want to add a layer of epoxy to the top of this so the surface will be smooth again and then with the ashtray i'm just going to add my leaves and all you have to do to get this image is google weed svg or weed silhouette weed clip art whatever okay so i applied it to the inside of my little ashtray slash candle holder uh same thing with the lighter um i'm going to add a smaller leaf to that let me see if i can cut one out real here's my mini leaf i just cut out for my lighter so i'm just going to place it in the center like so yes and this is what I'm using to seal my lighter in my jar. This is DuraClear High Gloss. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And I had this for a while. It does last a long time, which is really good. So I'm just going to apply that with the brush. I already put some in my little, in the top over here. So just dab it on like I do in my other videos, you guys. And if you want to see how I cut out 
the vinyl on my silhouette i will put the link below for that video as well everything is coming out so perfect and once i apply the layer the last layer of epoxy to my tray is going to be ready for sale by friday but i'm actually selling it saturday so it's gonna be ready by saturday you want to let it sit for a few days for that epoxy to cure okay so there is my lighter so cute so so far i got my lighter and my ashtray and i will add some more epoxy to the ashtray since i'm not selling it right away just to seal in that leaf <clears throat> and then i will do the jar this is just about our finished product and you know i say just about because i want to add that additional layer of epoxy to the top of my lettering to seal the design and on my jar and inside of my ashtray so i will be doing that off camera you guys so i know y'all will love this video do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel there is a giveaway coming up 30k subscribers can you believe that we are on our way you guys thank you